Welcome back guys on my channel. How many times have you wanted to scale your object using the unit measure and not the proportional scale used by Blender? So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a geometry nodes modifier to scale your object by an absolute value in your unit measure and not the relative scale. So let's get started. I'm working on Blender version 3.6.4. This is a simple cube, 1000 per side. And imagine that I want to scale this object, making a copy of these, but with an offset of 200 millimeters, for example. You can't, you can't now in this moment, because if you press scale, you can see in the upper left part of the window, the scale is based by a factor from zero to one, not clamped, it's obvious, but you need to calculate, to pre-calculate the number of the relative scale factor to manipulate the correct dimension of your object. So if I press uh, Ctrl A and apply the scale to have one, you can see the same result of the scaling is the same result of changing these values. And you can be lucky if you can manipulate this value in this way, okay, touching the dimension. But if you are not so lucky, it could be not so easy to manipulate the absolute offsetting of your mesh. So we can use the duplicate command of Blender, but not the using shift D because we want to maintain the same information of the basic object so we want to have an instance a duplicated instance of this uh, cube to apply other modifiers so press alt and D to duplicate but having the same instance information right button to not change the position in the space and now if I move with GX the object select the original press tab to enter in the edit mode you can see if I move the index of the original object the instantiate object changes now imagine you need to uh, decrease the scale of this duplicated object by an absolute values of these millimeters so if I press uh, S I can decrease Increase the value okay and if I want to have uh, for example 800 millimeters it's easy okay but now if I press ctrl a and apply the scale you can see blender needs to create a new object data users and apply the transformation losing the correct relationship between these two objects and this is what i don't want because if i press shift a and scale and confirm now if i change this vertex nothing changes on the duplicated so this is not what i want i want to maintain the linking between these two objects but changing this scale of the original i want to maintain this scaling with the offset of 200 millimeters per side how can i do this so if i select this object go to plus general and geometry nodes press new to create a new geometry nodes we need a few group node information in the group input we need six attributes so we need a boolean operation if you want to have an offset of the original information of the scale the same for the y the same for the z information next we want to have the float offsetting on the x y and z we can move this a little bit why this flag because if we want to use the x offset we want to start from the original x information of the bounding box of the entire object and offset by these millimeters if we don't want to use this offset we want to manipulate the entire object replacing original x by this value of millimeters and the same for the other axis in an independent way so we can start with the x offset and to do this we need to maintain the original scale of the duplicate object so I set one for this and to do the operation we need to calculate the bounding box of my source geometry from this bounding box we need to calculate the subtraction from the max to the mean position to have the correct uh, maximum distance from the minimum position to the maximum position of the entire bounding box and to give us the correct uh, three separated components and to manipulate them with this offset here it's important to maintain the scale here to one otherwise uh, it can 
work well. Now we can separate this information in X, Y, Z, and you can imagine this uh, information. You have an object and the actual information of the dimension is related to one. So this information is 100 percentage of the information and if i want a smaller value i have a decreasing effect on the scale if i want more dimension i need to increase the scale and to have this here with a duplicated group input node we can ask x information is not equal to zero without epsilon we want to use a switch here with a selected float value so if we have a not equal equal operation in the true we want to use our new x dimension otherwise we want to use the original dimension now to get the correct dimension here we need to calculate the proportional relationship between these two values so if i have 1000 millimeter i have one scale if i have 2000 millimeters what is the related scale so to calculate this scale we need to calculate the proportional relationship relationship between these two values so if i remember you 1000 stays to 1 as 2000 stays to n and to solve this problem you need to multiply these two values and divide these by this element and this means the new x information so the this output i need to multiply by the scale that i have here in this moment and this is the reason that i mentioned before this is very very important to have one always one here okay and the result is uh, multiplied by one divided by 1000 i can drop these and get only this information so this information is equal to say this output so the new x information divide by the original x information and in this way i can get the correct proportional new scaling to apply here through a transform geometry node so if i set here these and i drop the annotation for a moment and link these to a combined xyz i can link this scale here leaving one and one for now to the other axis press h to collapse h to collapse and this is the result but keep in mind we have a problem you define here an x like a float without a subtype so not indicating a subtype you get a value not related to the unit measure okay so in this case if i leave a zero i have the original dimension if i increase the information you can see i have the original scale value interpretation if I set to 1, I have the original scale, but using not the uh, unit measure, but the original scale feature by Blender. So if I want to set here millimeters, so the unit measure, the absolute value of the unit measure, you need to set here the subtype to distance. And you can see the changes of the information from a relative information to an absolute information. And if I set 800 millimeters, I have the correct scale of the dimension leaving the scale to one so in some cases you need to use a relative absolute offset and not a replacing of values on the original object so if i select the original object press tab to edit press all and scale it you can see i have always the same x information if i press one you can see i have always 800 millimeters on the x axis here of the second object but if i don't want to have this but i want to have the gap of 200 millimeters from the original to the duplicated how can i do this so i can undo for a moment to have 1000 millimeters for the original object i select the duplicated the instance and to have this information i need to use this boolean so i duplicate this switch and if the x offset is checked i I want to use not this value because I want to use this attribute as offset so I want an offset like minus 200 millimeters for example to always get 800 millimeters but as a gap from the original dimension okay so to do this I need to add from the original dimension 
1000. I want to add my new offset and use this as the value I need to use to the next switch. Otherwise, I want to use the, the previous values as the absolute replacing value x dimension for my object. And now this output, I want to ask me if it is not equal to zero to use it to the next part of the workflow. Now, if I press H here, move this a little bit. This is the result. So now you can see if I check this X offset, I'm using this minus 200 as a gap, as an offset, a relative offset, starting from the original dimension of the object. And now if I select the original object, press tab, and if I press one to see the result here, I have 800 here. But if I increase this, you can see I have more gap, but always I have more dimension in the X axis, but maintaining the offset of 200. So if I take this cube and reset the X information and press Shift and Z, you can see I have from this perspective always the gap of 200, 100 here and 100 here. If I select the original geometry, press Tab, Scale, I always have the correct gap between them and this is very useful for example if you need to bevel this object like this you want to bevel 20 times and you want to maintain the bevel without losing the tail in this point causing by the changes of the scale of the object. We can go further, select the geometry nodes, the same for the Y and the Z component. So we can duplicate this information and duplicate another time, link the Y switch, the Y component and the Y here, the not equal is the same and link the output of the divide result here in the Y combine XYZ, the same for the Z, link the Z original information, add the new Z, link the original Z also here before the divide information to use it as the original if we don't want to activate this feature and link this to the Z combine XYZ attribute. Now, if I want to have the correct distance, we need to go here in the definition of the Y and set distance, the same for the Z and and voila now if i set 500 and 500 here we don't see nothing because we lost ink the y here and the z here and now you can see we have 500 by 500 here for the y and the z maintaining a relationship between the original object and the relative X gap offset we need. And this is very, very useful because maybe you need to add some bevel information and you need to apply the scale, but applying the scale, you lost the information between the duplicated object and the original object. So in this way, you can maintain this relationship. And another tip, you can use these geometry nodes alone. So you don't need to use always an instance of another object to use these geometry nodes. You can use here another group input attribute as a boolean to use a custom object and another attribute as the object itself, geometry, and ask if the custom object is true, switch, change this in geometry, link this to the true. And if I want to use a custom geometry, I can get the object information of this geometry here and use this geometry otherwise I want to use the original geometry and in this output I want to link this output here in this way I can use another mesh as a plane okay add a geometry nodes select my geometry node system that I can rename in rescale mesh use a custom geometry object now I can select the original cube as the instance of my plane if I set the check on for all the axes and set minus 200 minus 200 and minus 200 you can see the correct rescaling of the object if i press 3 you can see this correct gap but look what it happens if I move the object along the Y and snapping to the end of my object. I have a correct gap here, but here we have a double effect. So we need to correct this by this value okay, to have the correct inner box. And now if I move 
on the y axis by minus one millimeter so pressing g y minus one so i want to move in this direction by one and set minus 99 to have the same gap here i can press shift and select the original Control minus shift z to see the result and if i set to fast you can see i have a correct box inside the original and and select the plane, select the cube, control P and parent it with object. Now a funny behavior behind this work is that if you select the exact fast, exact fast other time you can see this weird effect by blender because you are using a, a difference boolean operation using a plane that is created by the cube itself and the result of this output is used by the plane itself as the basic origin mesh to apply another time our rescale with this relative offsetting and use these another time in the cube and so on in a infinite number of times so each time you click this exact you get a weird effect like this it's not part of this tutorial but it's a funny behavior i removed this modifier but it was all only for show you that in, in this way you can manipulate in a correct way an object with an absolute rescaling you can see if i scale the original object along the x-axis Axis, I have always the correct offsetting of my duplicated cube and I had many cases with a 3D printer in which I needed to use this approach and this was the tutorial thank you guys for watching this video I hope you like it I hope you found some information for your project you can download this project for free from my Gumroad page or create it from scratch and if you like what I'm doing please subscribe to my channel and see you to the next video bye